right, so let's just put just like kind of do a final review and make sure yeah. everything is what we wanted because we did a little bit of experimentation. Because okay. I'm going to try to check this in into a branch um, so that yeah, people sort can of show and yeah. Yeah, can download and like examine it on their own. So first thing is yeah, our demo component. Does it need to be a singleton now? No, it doesn't. And it's actually sorry, I, I, because I added it back. So let's do this. Okay. And then, Which is why I want um, to do this final, yeah. yeah. Do this. Okay. So the reason why we don't need it to be singletons is because we don't have any modules that are singletons. Yeah. Wait. So the annotation here is just to associate with bindings that are singletons. If we don't have any, we don't need that. You're so right. So that's interesting, though. Like you would think that Dagger, if it generates a graph, it should warn me if I have a singleton. Um, provide method, but the component itself is not a singleton. You want to try? Uh, it will. <laughs> Let's see. Um, yeah. Or the other way. Like, that, oh, I'm not, if I'm not a singleton, way. would it lint me or no? No, it, I don't think it will. Because some people actually uh, want a singleton without singleton yeah. provided methods. Okay. Yeah, that's oh, fair. Anyway, um, so if we added singleton here, uh, Dagger would complain that he, it doesn't know what this singleton is associated with because... Yeah, the wouldn't. other way, no? Um, if we do it here, which is what we had for a bit, that's fine. Because we it's basically saying this component supports singleton, but then we just we just happen to not have any. Okay. However, if if we don't associate it here, yeah. and then we also no, what are you doing? <laughs> um, and then we also remove it here. Dagger is going to tell you. Wait, no, sorry. No, if you and, have it in and, and here. have it here. Yeah. Okay, uh, that's Dagger why. Dagger is going to complain. Okay, yeah. cool. All right, let's uh, remove that comment just so that it's all clean. All right, so and now... there's one more test class, uh, application component is the other one where we had it. And we also don't need singleton here. Yeah. And then the test one, I don't remember what we had there. Oh. Yeah, I, like I said, I was just like, oh God. magic dust. I was just sprinkle singleton everywhere. I think, like I said, I have this notion that everything has to match because they are extending each other. But now that you tell me that it's actually just a method... And they're all independent, yeah. Yeah, so that, that helps a lot, like um, yeah. that that I need to reason for each component independently. Because yep. I was just like, well, this is the mother and, and all the children has to behave the same way. There's actually um, something interesting, so. which is that, well, so here we don't have the, the problem, but when you, um, say you have a, a debug uh, component or dev component for your, the dev version of your app and okay. production components. Um, if you rebuild and the dev and the production component are in the same class pass because maybe you put dev in like a debug uh, folder, but you put the production one into a main folder, mm -hmm. then it's going to build it twice. It's going to build the two of them, right? And when you're in dev, you don't maybe don't really care about the production one. You want to put that into the release folder maybe so right. that it doesn't get built and it's like faster. So it's one of the tricks to get faster build, build times is to make sure that uh, every components are only where they need to be. Like the release one is in a release, release folder, the dev one is in the dev folder, and test is in test. Yeah. I'm trying to re see how it relates to what we were talking about earlier. Mm. It's like the fact that they are completely independent, they like yeah, don't have to sorry. have matching annotations. Um, no, you, 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 you can, can, you can, you can, you can use common places? interface, but yeah. I think, I, I guess I was just mm. uh, hinting to um, they're independent and also they're generated completely independently, but um, that means they don't. Oh, each I other see. Necessarily. So I think, I, let, let's see if this yes. is what you're getting at. I think in my head, some for some reason, because these interfaces are inheriting from each other, that the generator code also inherit from each other. Yeah. And you're saying that, no, they don't, which means that I don't need to have access yeah. to the same so, components so they can live completely separately, even if they inherit from the same... Uh, yes. Interface. And one thing that's interesting here is that we're doing too much work. Um, if you look at the... the uh, <laughs> yeah, Dagger is a lot of work <laughs> to use Dagger. If you look, so because we put add component on this demo component, Dagger generated a Dagger demo component, right? Which is this. But I bet this is not actually used, or is it? I'm wrong. This is used. Oh, no, it's not used. It's used by the builder, which is generated code. So it's not used outside of the generated code. So if we if we come back to the demo component and we remove this, you're just removing all my annotations. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I put it in because the sample co has them. I don't even put it in because I like annotations. You need way less in the annotations in your life. That's pretty amazing. Maybe right? it's, because maybe it's because I started doing this like a couple so years ago and things have changed. But I think it's it's probably. I was under the on. impression that I needed to tell it what. Uh, 
modules it needs. So it just so, figure it out by... No, it's not that. What's going on is yeah. that you already have your application components. And this is the one you're using. Um, actually, no, you're not. Uh, but let's change that. I'm cheating. I just realized that... Um, you're confusing me. But... Um, I am getting... Oh, yeah. Okay. Maybe but I'm you're... doing... Extra work because I have the extra demo component. No, yeah, so the thing with demo component is that uh, we're the thing we really care about is mm -hmm. application components. Yeah, uh, maybe we should like actually get rid of that and just have the test or like inherit directly from application component so we, that we, we don't can. have this extra thing. So you just copy the inject function. It's um, already. Uh, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah we can totally. Um, okay, so how do we do this? I think we can Control T. And we say push member down. What? Uh, Hold on. Factor. What's Let's happening try. here? Let's see what happens. What? Uh, and then Too much magic in this uh, episode. It's here. What? Uh, so then we can delete the. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, we well, test, um, test has to inherit directly from application now if we delete yes. it. Yes. Oh, we need to do that. You're right. Uh, actually, uh, does, how does um, it. Sorry. Let's go to the main activity test. So it's still extending that, and we added the method. So instead, let's do application component, yes. as you said, and then. Oh yeah, we don't even. Yeah. Whoop. Oh, what? What? well, it's it's Ooh. defined here, so we yeah. don't need it here. I know. Right? I'm just. Like, no, no, did, did it get pushed down automatically? Yeah. Okay. All right. I, mean, I yeah, didn't type that. To all, the <laughs> all the children. Yeah, yeah. I, what yeah. Was that? I swear I didn't type that. Like, you know, because we're then complaining then about the extra things. We can uh, save delete. Probably so. just in. Oh, well, save delete or. I wonder if save delete is going to do anything. Well, it's probably not mm -hmm. happy because um, um, the application class I uses it. I think we can inline it. Inline. In As is, inline all ref references and remove the class. Yeah. And it's disappeared. So that, it's not needed that, anymore. How do you get to that? Oh, <laughs> that magic. I don't even know what it's called. So it's on, on the Mac, it's Control T, and you press that, and you have a bunch and of options. And how do I remember? Like, why, why is it T? Like, does it stand for anything? Factoring. With factor. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Uh, okay. It's refactor this, so maybe okay. it's the. Uh, I have no idea. Okay. Good um, enough. Good enough. It's really great for changing method signatures. Yeah. No, because I I used I use the mouse. So I'll be like right click and then scroll to yeah. refactor, and I choose other things. So okay, Command yeah. T. Great. Let's, uh, let's build right, one yeah, last let's time this. Okay. and see what happens if wow, we broke it or not. Um, yeah. Gradle build running. Hopefully, Gradle is going to be fast soon enough. Well, no, we just have to keep talking. That's yeah. uh, <laughs> that's a problem of running stuff on my uh, tiny little MacBook Air. <laughs> it's fast, uh, or is it just now? Uh, it's definitely yeah. building, uh, yeah. and we don't have the demo component anymore, yeah. and everything's great. Um, okay, cool. cool. Thank you so much. <laughs> wow, we learned so much. I mean, I learned so much. Maybe you know all this already. No, I just learned on the spot. <laughs> no, because I think it's very good that you can clarify a mm -hmm. lot of the Dagger concepts that I, to be honest, just didn't read anything. I literally read the code and derive all these theories yeah. in my head. But like the fact that the components, even though they are interfacing interfaces inheriting from each other, it does not mean that they need to A, match all yeah. the annotations, and B, that the uh, in implementation are actually inheriting. So that's great. Yeah. Um, and then you kind of did a little guided tour for the generated code page, because I was just like, whoa, generated code, I don't want to read this. I think it's uh, fun to look at every now and then. Uh, yeah. You can learn a few things. Yeah, great, cool. And then, yeah, the I, I, I like the inversion. Part, which yep. um, because now I mean the, the reason why I really like it is because right now the, I mean the previously the way I set it up all the tests has to use the exact same mock object yeah which you know I may maybe in, later now that I have this technique you maybe once I can one use mockito and yeah. then the other one I use a fake because yeah. it's more complex yeah right so I I think uh, this is going to be very exciting now nice. I have a lot of different tools in my more toolbox. To test. Great. Wow, well, thank you so much. Um, so if people want to continue and follow your good work, where can they find um, you on the internet? So you can find me on Twitter. Mm -hmm. um, my Twitter is P-I-W-A-I. Uh, I pronounce it P-Y, -Y. but that was yeah. before I really learned English. So I didn't know how to pronounce it. I don't know how could people pronounce that in English. <laughs> like maybe Pi Way or Pi something. <laughs> I, no, it sounds like P-Y um, to me. Great, I will good. put it here so that people um, can um, yeah. see how it's spelled. Yeah. 
Great. Thank you so much. I really enjoyed this a yeah, lot. Yeah, me too. All It's right. Okay. Bye. Bye.